Elijah went to the place of prayer. He believed in God. He knew that he had spoken a word out of faith. He knew he spoke the words that God gave to him. But nothing happened. He did not leave. He remained there. He stayed there. He stayed, he stood where he was supposed to stay. He knelt down before God. And until that change came, he did not leave. It did not happen the first time. The second, the third, he remained there. He would keep sending the servant, go and check. He was simply saying, I will not go. I will not leave here until you do the thing that you have spoken through my mouth. Dear child of God, you know how you have spoken to people. That my life will be changed. You told them that your life will be transformed, but nothing has happened. And then, because of that, you got frustrated, you got bitter, you got angry, and you walked away from God. Please get back to God and say to God, I know what you have shown me. You showed me I was going to have a good life. You have shown me I'm going to have a beautiful home. You have shown me I'm going to have a beautiful husband. You have shown me that you're going to bless me. I've not seen any of them, but I'm not letting go i'm not giving up i'm staying here until everything happens i'm staying here until my change comes i'm staying here until i have my victories i'm staying here until i have my blessings and dear child of god i want to assure you you will get them don't give up easily don't give up easily don't give up easily dear child of god and jacob let go his name wouldn't have changed to israel wouldn't have changed to that one who god gave a nation to god appeared to him he gave him his word. And the scriptures recorded in Isaiah 9 that that word lighted up the entire nation. God made him a light. God can still make you that light. Yes, you may be insignificant right now. Nobody may know of you. Nobody is talking about you because you are nobody. But if you stay with God and say, Father, I know what you showed me. I know what you said you would do in my life. I know what you said you would accomplish in my life. I believe, I believe in them. And I will not let you go until you do it. I would wait until my change comes. I would wait until my troubles are over past. I would wait until you deliver me. I would wait until you uplift me. I would wait until you take me to the place of my glory. I would wait until my light will shine. I would wait until I break forth. Yes, I know you have slain me. I know that I feel down. I know I feel, I know I feel intimidated, but I will not be afraid. I will not allow them to have the victory. I will not allow them the last love. And I want to assure you, dear child of God, I want to assure you, dear child of God, you will see yourself coming out victorious. You will see yourself coming out strong. You will see yourself coming out tall by the help and by the grace of God. Don't make the mistake that a man almost made. Yes, he got tired. He went in the first time, nothing happened. He went in the second time, nothing happened. He went in the third time, nothing happened. And he almost gave up. Until the slave girl spoke to him and said to him, If he had told you to do so and so and so, wouldn't you have done it? Wouldn't you obey to the very end? And that was the redemption that Amon had. And on the seventh time, when he arose from the river Jordan, everything was cleansed. Everything was transformed in his life. Dear child of God, maybe you have not fulfilled everything that is needed. Maybe you have not allowed yourself to go through the process completely. Maybe you have not allowed God to walk through you. Maybe you have not allowed God to impact you with the things he wants you to learn. Maybe if he blesses you early, you may get into errors. You may miss it. So he wants to teach you everything you need to learn. So when you come out, you know how to appreciate it. Dear child of God, Jacob appreciated it at the end of the day. I know you would appreciate it. I know you would appreciate God for doing what he would do in your life. And for all the things he would make happen in your life. But determine within yourself today. And say, Father, it may have taken a long time. I've waited for five years. I've waited for ten years. I've waited for twenty years. Thirty years. I'm still waiting for my redemption. But I know it will come. It's counting. I'm counting on you. I know I'll be alive to see it. And dear child of God, definitely you will see it. I want to assure you, dear child of God, definitely you will see it. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. In Genesis 32 verse 26, the word of God says, And he said, Let me go, for the day breaketh. And he said, I will not let thee go except thou bless me, my God. 
Jacob said, I will not let you go unless you bless me. Jacob was determined, dear child of God. Jacob stood his ground. Jacob said, I will not let you go. Jacob did not give up, dear child of God. Jacob made up his mind that he must receive his blessings. Dear child of God, have you made up your mind today that you would receive your blessings? It doesn't matter what. Have you made up your mind to stay with God? He made up his mind. He said, I will remain with you until you change my story. He said, I will not let you go. Why have you let God go, dear child of God? Why have you given up? Yes, you waited for a long time and nothing has happened. Nothing has changed and then you gave up. You gave up thinking God was not going to bless you. You gave up because the challenges was difficult for you. Dear child of God, he said, I will not let you go until you bless me. He said, I will not let you go except you bless me. He said, I will not let you go until you bring my breakthrough to me. Dear child of God, you must be blessed. Dear child of God, your blessing is already settled. But you need to be determined. Yes, there are many things ahead of you, but you need to be determined to get them. Dear child of God, you see the violence taken by force. So the word of God says, in this kingdom, you don't allow yourself to become intimidated. That was why that in this world, I have not given you the spirit of fear. It says, fear thou not. Every time God will bring that message to you, fear not. Every time he will say to you, take courage. God told Joshua, take courage. Be courageous. Because the blessing is for you, dear child of God. The favor that you deserve is yours. But you need to tell yourself, I will remain. I will stand my ground until I get it. Jacob said, I will not let you go. Yes, you want something. You want a change. You want a deliverance. But was delaying. It was taking a long time. And then you gave up. You gave up. You gave up quickly. You gave up when you were at the face of your breakthrough. You gave up when your change was closer to you than you had ever believed. Dear child of God, you gave up when you were supposed to receive your turnaround victories and breakthrough. Dear child of God, you gave up when you were almost in your promised land. You gave up when you were already receiving all the things that were meant for your life and destiny. Jacob knew that something, something was attached to that encounter. And then he said, I will not let you go until you bless me. And what happened was he got a change of name. He got a change of identity. He was known before as a supplanter, dear child of God. He had done things that were wrong. He had made errors. He had made mistakes, dear child of God. You have made mistakes too. You have done a lot of things that have placed a stigma upon you. You have done some things that you make yourself always feel dejected. You make yourself always feel down because you feel unworthy. But I want you to know, you can still get what you want. You can still get what you want. The man Jacob said, I will not let you go unless you bless me. And then he was asked, what is your name? He said, my name is Jacob. He was saying, my name is a supplanter. He was saying something you may have done wrong, dear child of God. You may have done some unimaginable things. You may have done something that is not so interesting. He said, I am a supplanter. Just like you have said, I am a fornicator. Just like you have said, I am not good enough. Just like you have said, I have failed God several times. Just like you have said, I am unworthy. That was what he said. He said, I'm Jacob. And he said to him, from this day, you will no longer be called Jacob. Dear child of God, from this day, God is saying to you, you will no longer be called those things you are not proud of. Those things you were not excited for people to address you as. Yes, you know. He said today, you have prevailed. You have prevailed. You have prevailed. You have warred. And you have overcome, dear child of God. Israel means God prevails. Yes, he came to that point that he had his breakthrough. He knew that his change has come. Dear child of God, it is time you receive your change of status. It is time you receive your change of name. It is time you get your blessing. It is yours. You have cried, you have waited, but you seem to have given up at some point in time. Get back there. Get back to the place of encounter and say to God, I would not let you go. 
unless you show me what will become of my life, unless you show me the part of my destiny that I do not know of, unless you show me. Yes, I'm not saying that you can come to that point of being arrogant before your God because he is God. But there is a level of determination you would have and you will get some things that are unimaginable. You see, the woman came and said, please heal me. The woman came and said, please heal my daughter. The woman came and said, please, we want you to touch us. And Jesus said to her, it is not meant for you. This is meant and reserved for some certain group of people. But she stood her ground. She said, no, there was still something. Even the dogs eat from the crumbs that falls from the king's table. And Jesus knew there was something extraordinary about her. And then he said to her, your faith has made you whole. He said to her, you have received that thing that you believed for. She was saying exactly just like Jacob said, I will not let you go. I will not let you go until you do the thing that I want. That was what Job was saying when he said, I would go until you change my cause. He was simply saying, I would wait. That was what Job said. He says, I would wait. In Job 14, 14, he said, I would wait. I would wait until my change comes. I would wait until my deliverance come. I would wait until you visit me. I would wait until my change of story come. He said, if death takes a man, will he come to life again? He said, all the days of my trouble, I would be waiting. That was the words of Job. Those were the words of Job. Those were the words of Job, dear child of God. He says, I would be waiting till the time came for me to be free. And did that time come? Yes, certainly it did. It came because he believed. He stood with God. He said he will not let God go until his change comes. He said, so I would wait until my troubles have stopped. He says, then I might hope to have a better life. Did Job have that better life? Yes, he did. Certainly, he had a life that was better than what he had before. Dear child of God, you can still have a life better than you have right now if you will say to god i know my blessings are there i know that you have promised me to do me well i know that you have promised to do great things in my life i have not seen them but i will not go away from you i will not allow my hands to be sold i will stay with you until everything changes i will stay with you until you visit me i will stay with you until i see my breakthrough the wife told him cause god and die you don't have to wait anymore you don't have to be hopeful anymore. And then he refused. He said no. He said no. He said no. You see, the angel said to Jacob, Please let me go. The day break it. But Jacob said no. I've seen you today. I will not let you go. You have to bless me. You have to change my life. I've been in a state that I don't want to be in. I've remained there for years. I've had rejections. I've had setbacks. I've had people do me wrong. I don't want that anymore. I want a change. I want a change. I want a change. I've been cheated times and times again. I want a change. Dear child of God, I want to assure you, you can get your change. If only you'll be determined. If only you would make up your mind to see that breakthrough. If only you would have faith. I know that God has something beautiful. Know what the word of God says. So you see the violent ticket. You become violent. Dear child of God, there are sometimes you become violent. There are sometimes you wrestle. It says that you wrestle. We wrestle not against flesh and blood, dear child of God, but against principalities and powers and rulers in the high places. For 21 days, Daniel was there praying, seeking the face of God. His change had come, yes. Something had come, but he did not receive it. But he did not stop. He remained there until he had divine assistance, until he had divine aid. And everything changed. Dear child of God, you can also have that change if you would remain. If you would say, God, I believe in you so strongly. And I will not leave you until you do the thing that you have promised to do. It may have taken some time. But I know I would have that better life. I know these troubles will be overpassed. I know the change would come. Simon refused to die. Yes, until he saw the redemption that was promised. He refused to go until he saw the change that was going to come through Jesus, until he dedicated Jesus. Tell yourself, I will be there to see it. Yes, I refuse to die 
I refuse to allow the sickness to bring me down. I receive the divine life and strength. I receive the divine might from God. And I want to assure you, dear child of God, everything you need to receive, you will get. Your blessings will be yours. In Jesus' name. Please don't get tired. Don't give up. Yes, I know sometimes it becomes heavy on you. Yes, it becomes tiring sometimes. But don't give up. Say to God, just like Jacob did, I will not leave you until you change my story, until you change my name, until you bless me, until you visit me, until you uplift me. And I want to assure you, you will see your testimonies. Yes, you will testify. You will testify of the goodness of God. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. It is well with you, beloved. God bless you. And shalom.